Hey, welcome to the YouTube channel. I'm going to draw using charcoal and make some pumpkins. So I'm going to start off with sharpening my vine charcoal. It's medium vine. This is a sanding block. It's basically a sandpaper. And I'm making a spear and that kind of helps have a better point. But you can do this without sharpening it. So I'm going to overlap some blobs and then I'm just going to do a third of it and turn that for a shadow edge and fill it in. So I have other videos about this, so if you've never drawn a sphere before, you might want to check those out And because um, I'm, I'm going pretty fast um, for this. But if you've liked this and just follow along without watching those, that's great too. So I'm going in a couple of different directions with the blending sump. This is a number one. You could also use a number two. Really smoothing it out so you don't see anything grainy. It is becoming lighter and this takes some time so be patient with yourself it should actually kind of be relaxing i find it like you're sculpting so pressing down hard right there just to kind of get rid of the lines the graininess keep going back and forth smoothing things out and you're basically getting it ready to put some next values on it and i'm also putting the charcoal kind of pushing it into the light area as well as you can see and blending it so go in a different direction if you need to twirl it whatever it takes just don't smash it you don't really need to smash the blending stuff okay so this is a kneaded eraser if you play with it it cleans itself and i'm erasing so if you don't have this kind of eraser that's okay it will work without it i like it so the same shape inside it this is called the core shadow really simplifying everything and then the cast shadow right here is super dark and I'm going to make it really dark just using the um, vine charcoal right now and I'm blocking it in which means fill it in going around the edges there. I'm going to use that too to blend. So after you fill in everything or block it in you're going to use the blending sump very lightly around the edge and you're dragging it out but trying to keep the dark part in the core and blending it so you have a gradation, a nice smooth transition. So again, I'm taking my time using the blending stump along the edge first and then I'm gonna drag it out to have another value. So you'll have a reflection between the two as well. So here's your cast shadow and then inside it, you'll also have a core shadow, then your reflection, which makes it 3D. Great. So after you finish blending this, what I'm going to do is the stem. Now, if you don't want to do a pumpkin, you don't have to. You can make this into anything you want. I have a video on that with the still life. And so I just kind of made it a little bumpy as it goes into the pumpkin itself. And now I'm blocking it in. So the stem is pretty dark. So smooth this out with a blending stump so it's not grainy and it's also one consistent value. And after I do that, what I want to do is pull out some lights. So I'm taking an eraser and kind of dragging it on the left side because that's my light side. And then what I want to do is take some chalk and I'm turning my lines. Now I decided to do some highlights and you can look at a picture for this or you can have an image in front of you. You can be drawing from life, whatever it takes to know what to do. So I'm going to go ahead and draw some details. You know how it's kind of bumpy with a pumpkin? So that's what I'm doing right now and what I plan to do, and I'm just drawing it really quickly, is to smooth this out afterwards. Just make sure you're, um, you're turning on one side, it's straight, and you turn on the other side. Great. So I press down and lift up. So as I lift it up, it's a little bit lighter and it kind of creates a value going into the center so it's a little bit lighter. I think it looks kind of good, but whatever works for you. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to. It's just an option. And so this area is, is all going to be in shadow, so I'm just going to smooth that out. Press down, lift up, and then just smooth things out as you think it will look good and blend it. Same thing, basically. So this is a 2B pencil or a soft, I mean not soft, sorry, medium uh, charcoal pencil. But if you use a medium charcoal pencil, that works too. And I'm just drawing. Um, some details what I did was a kind of like an oval like shape for the stem on the top and now I'm drawing on the base and just the dark side of it see there is the stem and then that's the dark side and then some more details and yeah I think it should look pretty cool if you want to leave the lines you can leave the lines as a value or you can blend it so this is a jack-o-lantern so these are two triangles and then a smiley face just simple 
And you're going to use parallel perspective, so you're going to just draw a line here and a line there, and that should give it 3D. And then you're going to make it thick to thin, and that should make it 3D. Make that super dark inside for the jack-o'-lantern, and it pops. Then smooth things out according to what you like it to look like. I like it smoothed out and um, blend it a little bit using the blending stump, the number one blending stump. And then I use some white chalk. If you don't like the way I use the white chalk, you don't have to do it this way. I thought it looked like it was glowing. And then I'm going to smooth it out too because I felt like it got a little too bright in some areas. So that's really kind of how you could do a jack-o'-lantern. I like a happy looking jack-o'-lantern. If you want yours to look a little different, you're more than welcome to. Well, thank you so much for tuning in, liking, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. This is a, um, a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin still life using charcoal. And um, yeah, take care.